Welcome back Team Fever, back again with another video and today I'm going to discuss Big Brother Canada Season 7 uh, this week and I just like got broken breaking news as I was about to record this. I just went on their Wikipedia so that I can, you know, like just so I can remember like some of their names and everything what's going on inside the house and I, I just realized, spoiler alert, Mark won HOH and I see he nominated Adam and Damien. Now, is it a smart move? I would say it's questionable. I don't know. You nominated a pretty boy, so that's weird. I know he says he wants to make a big move so that when he makes it to the finals, he can, you know, say that he did something. But at this point, it's kind of weird. You might as well just, I don't know, either you go all in and nominate two pretty boys or you just follow through and just nominate Damien and Esty. Uh, that would have probably been, or Esty and Corey. I thought it would have been funny if Corey was evicted this week. Cause then it's like uh, Chelsea won HOH, evicted the next week. Um, this is why I need the Wikipedia because I remember the names. Samantha wins HOH, evicted the next week, and then Corey wins HOH, evicted the next week. Because let's be honest, guys, this season might just turn out to be a bust. Because I said last time I was on here, my mukbang. If y'all have not seen that, make sure y'all check that out. I said that my two favorites were Adam and Sam, and of course. Like, why wouldn't this happen? Sam is evicted right after I make that video. So now my favorite is Adam, and he's on the block. And the pretty boys could very well turn on him and evict him if they really wanted to. If Adam is evicted, I say that Dane has this in the bag. And what was up with Adam saying that Dane's gonna win this game? Was that, like, I don't watch the feeds. I think this season is actually really boring, so I'm not sure. What about that blood veto? I know this video is all over the place, but the blood veto, first of all, it was such a bust. And then it's like, they hyped it up as being such a great power and all this, but really, really wasn't that that great. All the thing it was was that you get to cast, basically you get to cast one eviction. There's no point in having all of them go inside the, you know, room and bow. I guess, like, if it was SD who had it. Actually, even if SD had it, if they knew what was going to happen, like, you know what I'm saying? Like... The blood veto, what a waste. At this point in the game, I think Anthony is playing a really good game, but well, first of all, let me talk about this week. I, I, this video is supposed to be me talking about this week and what went on. As much as I like Samantha, I mean, she did it to herself. I mean, you put up, you put up Kiki and Mark when your main target was Dane. Adam won the veto, and you didn't even have him use it. Like, I don't understand what, like, these people are so, like, you had, oh my gosh, you had Chelsea tell you that Dane should be the target, you had Kiki tell you that Dane should be the target, you know, like, Sam, how many conversations has she walked in on and seen the pretty boys, seen them do, like, how sad of it, how sad was it to watch, or, it wasn't even sad, it was kind of, like funny hearing SD explain the pretty boy she pretty much said every single thing except the name pretty boys but I mean at this point like I know the Twitter thing is the ugly boys because none of them are pretty <laughs> this is <laughs> I saw somebody say on Twitter that the prettiest boy inside the house is the only boy that's not in the prettiest place <laughs> Damien <laughs> Which, I mean, I mean, shoot, I mean, Damien, even the girl said that Damien was the best looking inside the house, and he's the one that's not in the Pretty Boys Alliance, like, so awkward. But, um, at this point, I am rooting for Adam to take home the win. I agree with him when he said, what's the difference between him being close with, well, actually, no, I don't. Because he was with Sam and his showman. Also, Sam proved to be a, bit, a good competitor. SD is not so I mean all she is is cute and she's with Dane which is awkward I don't understand why everybody hated Sam and Adam together but like like what is so wrong with them like, I think that they're they're two good looking people and they're, they they were fine and I, I like the way they played the game they were HOH back to back I really like them I wonder like 
can somebody fill me in in the comments? Is there a battle back with Big Brother Canada? And also, can y'all fill me in? But I was spoiling anything from past seasons because I do want to watch the past seasons. I don't know who won any season except season one because I watched season two and they, they said who won season one. But I just want to know because I heard that there's a triple eviction. Oh, wait. Week 10. So there is no triple eviction because the way they got this laid out is week 7, 8, 9, and then week 10. That's it. So can y'all explain to me how the triple eviction works? Because I'm don't. i not sure. I don't watch. Uh, this is my first time watching Big Brother Canada. So I saw Evil Dick say on Twitter, Evil Dick, the winner of Big Brother Season 8, I think. I saw him say on Twitter that he just wants Kira to win because it's a crap season and they might as well have a crap winner. But Evil Dick. I mean, who else, like, wouldn't they all be a crap winner at this point? Like, yeah, I guess Kira would be the crappiest of all crap winners. But, I mean, at this point, I mean, if Dane won, I mean, I guess he's, or, or Adam. If Dane or Adam won, I feel like those are good winners, even though, like, a lot of people don't like them. I don't like Dane. I'm just not a fan. But, I mean, I, I, I told y'all last week, I'm a fan of Adam. I just, I am. Um, I like these challenges in season on, in Big Brother Canada. Like, I like how they did the little throw it around, that thing. But the only chance of anybody else winning would have been Sam, in my opinion. I know Mark was doing really good, but I only saw Sam. I only could see Sam or Dane winning that. Uh, so this week, I'm assuming that I think Damien might leave. Unless the pretty boys really decide to turn and get out of out. Can you imagine they sent Adam to Jerry with Samantha? That would be like Brendan and Rachel all over again. But I like Adam. I do like Adam. I don't see how Adam is unlikable. Like, how is Adam unlikable? What has he done to show that he's unlikable? He's been loyal to his alliance since day one. He has not done anything behind people's back. All the pretty boys have been talking about him behind his back. He's been very upfront with Sam, like, well, upfront that he's in an alliance and a showman's with Sam. He has not hidden that, unlike some other people who are trying to downplay their relationship. Like, Anthony is straight using Corey. I think Dane really does like Esty, like, thinks she's cute or whatever, but, like, he doesn't really, like, he, he's ready to drop her like that. Adam is loyal to the pretty boys and also was loyal to Sam. So that's why I like, I like, I like Adam. And that's who I'm rooting for to win this season. But let's discuss this season more inside the comments down below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share this video on all forms of social media. Until next time, catch y'all later.